you better lower your expectations. That's the message from coach Sebastian Minier as Harambe Stars prepare themselves for what will be an interesting 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Now I get it. He's frustrated from the criticism that's coming their way. Understandable. But think about it, guys. Think about it. That's what fans do. That's what pundits do. We will criticize, we will question, but ultimately... We will support our national team. Everyone is behind Harambe Stars. Heck, I'm 100% behind Harambe Stars, not just because it's the national team, but also because most of my friends are actually playing in that squad. So yes, I want success. You have no idea. Plus, what's my career in football when I cannot have a national team that is performing? That having been said, Coach Minier, we might try and lower our expectations, but you best believe our hopes, well, that springs eternals, <laughs> that won't be changing. Look, a lot of talk about Jesse Ware being dropped, Alan Wanga, top scorers, fantastic goal scorers. Algeria's coach has already dropped, what's his, Naiji? You remember, top scorer for Algeria? He's not in the national team. These things will happen. We're proud of the squad that's going, and now it's down to what we can do at the Africa Cup of Nations. Riyad Mahrez has already said they have no excuse when it comes to their game against Kenya, which will be the first game of Kenya's AFCON campaign. So he expects a big result. And you know what? To be honest with you, I am also 100% sure that Kenya has every chance, every single chance of beating Algeria. And I expect that. So what I'm going to do now is take a look at the starting 11 or some of the players that I expect to actually play in there. Matasi, no questions. Howler in that last friendly. Woo! Embarrassing moment. But these things happen. He is the first choice goalkeeper. Uh, up front, now that center half mid, -pair, mid uh, pairing, Abundiaswalina come. Because if Musa is fit, I would think of playing Musa and Joash. That's my combination. I'd love Kalabar, but the coach just doesn't feel David Owino at this particular moment. He hasn't. So Kalabar starting is very unlikely. Joash, no questions whatsoever. He will be the first name on that team sheet, as will be Wanyama, as will be Kahata. Getting to that midfield in just a second. So Musa, who is more of a proactive defender, and yeah. Yeah, Joash is more of a reactive, so you want to pair those two. I would play Kalabao on the flank and uh, Abud Omar, but Abud will start, yes. I don't know if he'll play Kalabao or he'll play Philemon. That is up to the coach, and I'm thinking it'll be the latter Philemon, but I would go with Kalabao, who's good in the air, which will be a very dangerous place. Brian Mandela's injury, what a blow. I think that's the only reason Kalabao is still on that provisional, uh, that 23-man squad because of Brian Mandela's injury. Look. That back four, I have no questions about it, okay? It'll be interesting, and I have full confidence in that. It's the midfield going forward where questions will be, ha uh, will be asked and answered. So, protecting that back four, I would go with none other than Deno. Dennis has been absolutely brilliant. He cannot miss on that team sheet. And I would play him with Victor Anyama, which would then allow Big Vic to move forward more often as a box-to-box -box kind of player and support Kahata, who would definitely be the number 10 role right behind Michael Olunga. Yes, Olunga has to start. Is there any question about that? Coach Minier did agitate me slightly when he said, apart from Victor Anyama, we don't have any other good player in big leagues. Well, <laughs> no comment. Coach, we have some fantastic players. It's just that opportunity hasn't arisen for them, so that's understandable. Look, Olunga up front... On the flanks, I do not want Kahata playing the flanks. I want Kahata right behind Olunga for his creativity, his insight, his ability to make those clinical passes. And then you can play Johanna and Timbe on the flanks, hoping Timbe is 100% fit. That is how I'd set up the starting 11 for Harambe Stars. Will they go through? I think so. I'll give Coach Minier some props. He has kept faith with locally based players. That is something worth mentioning. So, Good job, coach. And if you look at Algeria, the team we meet first, well, they only have one, one player from the local league playing in that team. So it says a lot about Coach Minier and his decision and need to build the local league, and he respects the local league. So I'll give you that. We will question the, uh, the final squad, but ultimately we will support them 100%. Kenya, and I say this very, very clearly, I have criticized that provisional squad. I have my questions about some players who've been left out, but I will say this very clearly. Kenya can and most likely will get out of that group stage. Take that to the bank. Don't put your money on it. Do ball ni ball, but 
<laughs> you could take that to the bank. Look, I think it's enough talking. We've done all the talking we can. Now it is a chance to support our team back in the Africa Cup of Nations for the first time in 14, 15 years. Harambe Stars up against Algeria, up against Tanzania, up against Senegal. Get out of that group stage, boys. Go there. Do your business. We have your back 100%. Till next time, support your country, support Harambe Stars. Let's do it, baby.